In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, making your fields mandatory within your Dynamics 365 customer service application. Now, remember, this is not specifically for customer service application, but it can be done for any of the model driven app. Now, as you see in the screen, uh, this is a case form uh, for uh, raising a case within the system. Now, as you see in this case form, there are various components. Now, one of the component is case title. And if you see asterisk mark, which means case title is mandatory. Customer is mandatory, but the other fields are optional. Now, what if I want to make other fields mandatory as well? So take, for example, this is a field called as origin. Now, if I want to make origin as mandatory, is there a way I can do this, make this field mandatory? Now, for that, what we need to do is first is go back into the backend table and look into the columns. Now, if I go into the column, I can see that, uh, let me find origin. If I go to origin as a column, then if you see, there is no way whereby I can edit this field to make this field mandatory. Okay, so there are no options available to make this field mandatory. Okay, so that remember this thing. Now, let me do one thing. Let me add an another column from here. So let me add a column. If I add a new column, which I'll call it as uh, is audited. Okay, now say maybe this one is a choice, yes or no. And from here, behavior is simple or calculated. Required is optional. I can mark it as business required or business recommended. Now, business required is basically what is what I require to make this field mandatory. Now, I can select business required. And from that point onwards, is audited field will become mandatory. Now, remember, I have created a column and then made it mandatory. But what if the column already existed within the application? Then how do I make it mandatory? Now, once this uh, form is loaded, so let me go into the form. And go to case for interactive experience form. Now we have added a field called as is audited. Now, if I drag this field is audited within the application, In the meantime, let me open the case form and keep case table. Okay. Now here, uh, when I drag this field is audited over here, then you see that this become mandatory. So any new column which you create, you can control and make it mandatory. But what if the other column, like say origin column, now I have no option to make it mandatory. Now, what are the other options? The other option is to create something called as a business rule. If I click on business rule, okay, from here, it will create a business rule. Where are the other places whereby I can create a business rule? Now here under customizations as well, I can create a business rule, okay? Now from the solution, if I click on new, let's see if I have something called as a business rule over here. So from a solution perspective, I do not see anything called as a business rule. Okay, so there are multiple places through which you can create business rule going to customization from here or going into the back end by going to the advanced setting and then creating a business rule. Uh, and within the form, when you are editing a form, you can create a business rule. So here you can create a business rule. Okay, so if you click on business rule, it will show you show only active business rule. Now he can create business rule from here. Once you create that business rule, it will navigate you to this particular interface. Now, what is the logic for this business rule? Now, what we want is basically we need to specify that if, say, take for example, case title contains some value, then make origin field mandatory. Okay, so that's the logic. Now, here we need to specify, we need to select this condition and say case title contains data if case title contains data watch over here that's the condition if case title contains data then do something what then what we need to do we click on add and we say 
add set business required okay so click here and then click here so it will say set business required now from here what is that business requirement business requirement is uh, case origin is the field which we are looking into uh, origin is a name is business required okay so if you see here it will mark it as set origin as business required so if case title contains some value if someone has put something in case title then make origin as business required i'll click on apply okay and then i'll click on save remember you need to save this business rule so first step is you need to click on apply that is important then you click on save and once you click on save click on activate okay so you are now activating this business rule within your form okay and it will say let me activate it so do you want to activate the selected one process i'll say yes activate please and now this case is activated because you see the deactivate button over here go to your form from where you have created this let me click on save and publish okay and once this is published go to your case form so if i go to the case form and uh, let it publish yeah i think it is published now so if you go into the case form and just do a hard refresh if the changes are not reflected after doing a refresh you can again wait for some time and do a hard refresh because sometimes it takes uh, a while to get the changes propagated to the application so cases if i click on new case then if you see here uh, what we have said is origin is mandatory right so let me type in something let me see if the changes are propagated or not if i click on save then if you see the origin has become now mandatory so origin is a required field and must be filled in so until and unless you fill this you will not be able to uh, save the record now i have filled this record and that's why i was able to save this case record okay so that's how you make a field mandatory now this is not only applicable for your new form but it is applicable for your already existing form as well so if you see internet not working here see origin has become mandatory earlier it was not so what we have done in order to make the field mandatory is two options one is if you want to make any field mandatory and if you're creating from scratch it's an easy option you can already mark this field as mandatory okay by just creating a column and marking it as business required but what if the field is already existing within the form and you want to make that field mandatory so then what you need to do is make use of business rule so you create a business rule and create a business rule based on some condition within the form so here the condition is basically if uh, someone has already put something in case title and case title is like the basic thing which someone needs to put while raising a case and if that is not filled uh, if that is not filled then you know like you can't uh, proceed with the application so that's why my condition is if some case type if someone fills the case title and case title contains some data then make origin field as mandatory so that's why it is showing in red and it will not allow you to move further unless you fill this field so that's it folks this is how we use uh, business rule to make the field mandatory thanks for watching